Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. While I was away, Cicero went mad and attacked Astrid. Her husband, Arnborn, has gone off after him, and now they want me to follow Cicero and Arnborn and kill Cicero. But first, I must search his room for clues. was his room. He didn't stay here with the night mother. Apparently not. I was never close to him. He's too weird. I don't know if anybody here was close to him at all. Because he's too weird. Okay, here we are. There's something here. Cicero's journal. Oh my god, how long is this? 30th of Sun's Dusk, 4E200. I have written the letters, so polite, so official, to Astrid in Skyrim. Her sanctuary still stands, still operates, but how? No listener, no black sacrament, no black sacrament needs no co means no contracts. Her family can abandon the old ways and still survive, still kill, but is that family still brotherhood? Or something else. Something new. Something different. Something wrong. Something wrong. Still we must go. Tomorrow we set sail. Float on a boat through the moat called See Her and Me. 22nd of Evening Star 4E. 200. Sick, sick, sick of the rocking, tossing, rolling, throwing upon the gray, gray waves. I've been reading of Skyrim of the good days, of the old days, of the old ways. There was another sanctuary once, a Dawn Star Sanctuary. Good, ancient, and strong, blessed by Sithis. Cicero will go there. No need of Astrid. The mother and I will settle, and she will speak to me finally, and we will build the old ways anew together. 23rd of Evening Star, 4E200. The passphrase is mine. I have found it in a letter, ancient as the sanctuary itself. The black door will ask, what is the greatest life, what is life's greatest illusion? I am to answer, innocence, my brother. Finally, a space, a place to call my own, a joker's retreat for the fool of hearts. Fourth of First Seed, 4E201. The sanctuary is home as I had dared hope. Cool and dark and lovely, my sanctuary, sanctuary from all. I know it's every corner, every hall, every shadowed nook and alcove. My sanctuary. The guardians know me, recognize me as keeper. They leave poor Cicero alone. The big ugly beast, a different story. He'd eat me if he could. But to bind me, grind me, he'd need to find me. And Cicero will make sure that does not happen, for I have sanctuary. Sanctuary for all. Thirteenth of First Seed, 4E201. The sanctuary is safety and salvation, but silent, so silent, I give my love to the unholy matron. I give my laughter freely, but I do not hear her. The silence is returned now that I am laughter and no longer hear laughter. I once again hear the silence, the silence of the void. It reaches across time and space. Its silence is deafening once more. First of Rain's Hand, 4E201. Mother and Keeper must go. 
I am not the listener and never will be, but I am the keeper. I must serve my mother's will above my own. I must find her listener. I must teach Astrid the error of her ways, the beauty and necessity of the old ways. I have sent the letter to Astrid. We leave soon, but Cicero will keep his sanctuary as his sanctuary, a place to rest and ply my trade, for I once more take up the blade and send some lucky souls to him when laughter strikes as fits my whim. Hmm. Well, some people would say that this journal indicates his descent into madness. But is he truly mad? He might be on to something. This Astrid, I don't trust her. And I need to hurry up and make that potion and restore my memories. Am I supposed to take this? Of course. Okay. Now, let me talk to these people and get them back to work and calm down. Have you found something? Yes, I found Cicero's journal. And it's something that you could have looked for yourself. If you hadn't been so... Oh, I don't know, self-important, self-pontificating, whatever it is that you do around here. Good, good. Does it say where he may be headed? Yes, an abandoned sanctuary in Dawnstar. I have the passphrase. The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... one of us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void. In as many pieces as possible. Before I go, was there something that set Cicero off? No, nothing. At least, nothing I'm aware of. Well, if I'm being honest, I haven't exactly been discreet lately in expressing my frustration with this whole situation. Obeying the Night Mother, you being the listener, it's ridiculous. No offense. Cicero may have overheard me talking to one of the others about the Night Mother. It's possible I was not entirely respectful. But to go this far, to attempt to murder the leader of a sanctuary, Cicero must pay with his life. There is no other option. Isn't there any way to work this out? Look, the Dark Brotherhood is a family. This sanctuary is a family. And we've always welcomed those shunned by society. Werewolves, wizards, eternal ten-year-old vampires. What does it matter? In truth, I've rarely met a lunatic I haven't liked. Cicero's problem isn't his madness. It's an adherence to an ancient, outmoded way of life. The Night Mother's ways simply are not our ways. He just couldn't accept that. And now he'll have to pay the price. You're so confident. But if you really want him to pay the price, you're going to be the one that has to take his life. What do we know about the Dawnstar Sanctuary? Oh, it's ancient. Apparently one of the first sanctuaries in Skyrim. It hasn't been used by the Brotherhood in close to a hundred years. If you say Cicero has gone there, it stands to reason that he's familiar with the place. That means you'll be fighting him on his own ground. Tread carefully. I took that prancing fool into my home, and this is how he repays me? Hmm, I don't see a scratch on you. OK. 
Okay, so Shadow Mayor. Well, we look at this. Oh my God! What an entrance! All right. I think this is definitely a horse befitting an agent of Nocturnal. Let's go ride! Yeah. Well, that's awful lot of blood. All right, Shadow Mirror. Wow. I mean, you're almost mesmerizing. Arnborn, what the hell has happened here? Should have figured Astrid would send you. And you would prefer someone else? You look like you're hurt. It's a lot of blood. Ugh, what gave it away? the blood <laughs> yeah gotta admit that little Chester's good with that butter knife but don't worry I gave as good as I got you know being attacked and almost left for dead by someone wielding a butter knife is certainly nothing to laugh at where is Cicero now in there through the door some old sanctuary by the looks of it I would have followed him but I don't know the phrase I know the phrase. I'll get Cicero. You go home. All right. You convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. The little fop cut me pretty deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Hmm. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood. All right. know how mad he truly is if he'll see me as friend or foe. What is life's greatest illusion? Innocence, my brother. Hmm, there is a lot of blood. All right. Listener! Is that you? Oh, I knew you'd come. Send the best to defeat the best. <laughs> As you knew, her stupid wolf couldn't slay. Slay, Cicero. All right, I'm not here to hurt you. Hmm. Jester's boots? Wow. So someone can dress up as Cicero, probably for Halloween. I, I know, you think I'm joking, but yes, there is Halloween in Skyrim. Cicero, I'm coming in. What the hell, a ghost? Okay. I try to do this peacefully. But you just had to fight me. said search guardian where did he go nothing left 
All right, Cicero, I tried to come in peacefully, but you've sent a guardian after me. Traps and another guardian. can't actually search him. All right, well, you know, two can play at whatever game it is that you're playing at. Oh, there's another one. Your guardians are going to have to do better than that. Oh, nice. Oh, look at this. to start paying more attention. After all, I'm up against a madman. Hmm. Well, that's worth something. That's worth a lot. to talk to you. P. 
peacefully. But you're making that difficult. Another one? Oh, it's just... Just the ice looked like a ghost. Really? Wow, this troll even had a name. this way. Whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. I can't set these off, I don't think, but... So you were going to feed me to the trolls. Hmm. And here I thought there might be something valuable in that chest. Careful, there's no telling what traps he has for me. Ah, oh, look at this.
guardians does he have? Stumbled back here and look what I found. Still alive. If it's any comfort, I do feel slightly bad about Bizarro. Stupid as I got my way. <laughs> but please, tell me that hulking sheep dog is bled to death. No. Oh. And now, we come to the end of our play. The the tenants. It's too bad. All right. I'll be with you in just a moment. Just making sure I have my escape planned out here. Hmm. Cicero. Surrender. <laughs> oh, you prefer to listen, eh? Of course, of course. The listener listens. <laughs> a joke, a funny joke. <laughs> I get it. Then listen to this. Don't kill me. Let poor Cicero live. I attacked this trumpet pastor, and I did. And I'd do it again. Anything for our mother? Return to the pretender. Tell her I'm dead. Tell her you strangled me with my own intestines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But lie. Yes, lie. Lie and let me live. <clears throat> You know, when I first met you, all I wanted to do is kill you. Do what you will. Cicero has no fight left. Yeah. In the end. That's all I wanted to do was kill you. Because I don't like jesters, I don't like mimes, and I don't like clowns. And you're like all of them rolled up into one. But there is something about Astrid, and I need to deal with her myself. Um, do I need to say something to you that I'm going to let you live, or what? Do what you will. Cicero has no fight left. In the end, Sithis will judge us both. All right, well, I'm leaving. I can't interact with you it doesn't seem I'll try one more time do what you will Cicero has no fight left okay in the end Sithis will judge us both good luck to you
shadow mirror. Let me just check something. Okay, no active effects. That music I heard when I came out kind of sounded like a sanguinous vampiris, but looks like I haven't contracted it. All right, let's go back. to the other Brotherhood Sanctuary. Hmm. Wow, I really like having you as a horse. I wonder what's gonna happen with this other one, though. Oh, well. All right, let's see about these acting skills. Can I pull this off? <laughs> Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. Hmm. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Yes, Cicero is dead. Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? Right. So what's my next task? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Kill well, and often. <laughs> of course. There's no other way of doing it. Well, looks like everybody's gotten back to work and calmed down. We're going to end here and in my next adventure we will go and hunt down the gourmet until next time yeah.